all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and today I want to work on this little pumpkin mold. I already used some gold glitter, filled it in, that's cured, just to save a little bit of time. I want to add some of these little fall leaves. I'm going to get some out. They're just little leaves I got from, I think I got these from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's just table scatter, or whatever you call that. Let me get the bigger ones out. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'm definitely going to be um, using these. I do have some of these in here I want to get out. Okay, that should be more than enough leaves. Can't see me throwing that much in there. So I do have uh, six ounces of resin poured here. I'm not sure if I will need all that. I don't know how much this mold holds. Um, let me wipe this off. These are just some wipes with some isopropyl alcohol. First, I'm going to put some of the Spring Dazzling Diamond in there. Not much. I want to have just a little bit of sparkle. I was going to put some um, glitter, like, I don't know, fall glitters in there, or mica powders, or I was going to do, do all that, but I don't know. I think this is going to add enough color. These, uh, let me get my stick back out. These leaves. All that just stuck to the stick. There's that. Um, I am going to dunk these leaves in the resin. This is going to get very messy. Let me pour a little bit in there. That, now we're going to. Now I can dunk and place. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know what kind of bubbles I'm going to incorporate in this. We shall see. And I want one of these. I'm putting different colors in there. Like so. Okay, I'm going to fill this up. And if I need to mix up more resin, I will. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's see. I could possibly hold a little more. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot more resin than I mixed. Okay, let me spritz this with some isopropyl. And I'm going to set this back here. And I will look at that in a minute. And I'm going to pull this forward. Yeah, I'm going to need some more. I'm going to pour some resin in there and let it start making its way down into the mold. See that dazzling diamond in there? See that shimmer? So I'm going to just give this a little pinch, add some more. And now I'm going to start dipping leaves in the resin and sticking them in the mold. Down it goes. Okay, let's see. I want this one here. Probably hear that stupid train. I mean, that train boy. It's like 
I have a a large like field with a um, lot of trees that back up to my house and on the other side on the other side is um, some train tracks and the train sometimes barrels through and it sounds like it is in my backyard well it basically it is in my backyard but it's not in my backyard it's not as close as it sounds you know sometimes depending on the size of the train it could get it can get really loud let me get the screen one in here now I don't know if I'm gonna shove leaves in and I think I'm going to I think I want to fill them up with leaves but I don't know to what extent These tweezers I am, I'm using have little rubber tips on them, so they're not going to scratch my molds. So, yeah, I don't know how that's looking in there. We'll know when we demold. I like these. These got the little sparkle on them. See that sparkle? So, I'm just going to keep adding leaves. Why not? I'm going to turn that sparkle around so it's facing out. And down. Get in there. Leave. Get in the mood. There you go. And I'm just probably going to do a time lapse. All I'm doing is basically sticking these leaves down in there so yep I will see you when I'm done Okay, I'm going to pour some resin in there and see what we got. Looks like my mold has a leak in it. Obviously, it's been running down on the side. Oh, yeah. What the heck was I thinking? That little bit of resin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need a lot more resin. That didn't do nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. So I'm going to clean this up and mix up some more resin, and I will be right back. Okay, I have six ounces of resin poured. Not sure if I'll need that much, as but... I'm going to pour some more in. And then we're going to add some more leaves. So let's get to adding. Um, I'm just going to start dunking some leaves again in here, like so. And Sticking them in. Just gonna stuff them in there. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to look. We shall find out together. Some more green. green one is. Let's see, can I see in there? Hmm. I think it's there. I can see it. So, 
We're just gonna stick it over here. Stick it up under that one. Yeah, they're starting to float. I don't want them sticking up over the side of the mold. So I'm going to shove them in there. Like so. I don't think I have one of these in there. Okay, let me start pouring some more in here. I am going to see if I can get any bubbles coming up. So I can see them in there. So I'm going to squish, squish, squish. See the bubbles popping? I see something in here I don't want in my finished project. Let me get some more out of there. I see some big bubbles right in there. Bubbles. We don't like bubbles in here. Okay, I want to lay some leaves down in the bottom of this, like so. Like that. I don't know why I'm not dunking them. I should be dunking them. Oh, I'm dunking them now. I see more bubbles. Come on up, bubbles. Now, this will not go on my heat mat. At least, I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours. I have a lot of resin left. Huh. Go figure. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to clean up my mess and we will be back for the demold. So uh, hopefully this turns out nice. Let me spritz it with some isopropyl. Let me take this glove off. No, I don't want to take my gloves off. Hold on, let me clean off my glove. So I can spritz it. And Cause it's, there we go. So I'm gonna let this cure and when I be back, when I'm, when I be back, and then we'll be back for the demold. So let's see how this turns out. I'll see you soon. Okay, this is cured. Um, I thought I was recording and I unmolded the lid. So there's that. I love how that turned out. Like the gold. And then the leaves. And the true test will come with this. Let's see how easy or hard this is to unmold. So. I have a feeling this one's going to be quite difficult. Okay. 
right, let's back in. Oh, I got a lot of cleanup to do on that mold. Oh, that turned out cute. You can see all the leaves. Wow, that turned out better than I expected. Because I was concerned it would just look like a bunch of clumped up fabric. That's what I was concerned with. I was concerned that you wouldn't be able to distinguish the leaves. I may have used a little bit too much of the Dazzling Diamond, but it's beautiful. See how you can see the individual leaves in there? That turned out really nice. And the lid. Wow, that turned out beautiful. That is gorgeous. I could sand that down, but I'm not going to worry about that. Wow. And what's really surprising, no bubbles. Not a single bubble. That surprises me. But look at that. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? I love it. God, that is beautiful. What would you fill this with? What would you suggest I try next with this mold? It's beautiful. So there it is. There's my little pumpkin mold with the little lid. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It is free. And to my subscribers, I truly appreciate you and have a great day and God bless. Bye.